Hi, in this episode I'm going to talk about how to access WRDS in SAS on your local computer. Basically, you can just remotely submit your code to the WRDS server and let it run there. Then you can choose to only download the final datasets to your local computer. In this way, you can make sure that your code is self-executable and therefore maintain a good reproducibility of the dataset, which is very important in empirical research in accounting, finance, and all other disciplines. So the usual way of using WRDS is to log in using our username and password and then have a look at the subscriptions. For example, we have Bank Regulatory, we have Bordex, we have CompuStat, and we have CRSP and CSMAR as well. As an example, let's go to CompuStat Capital IQ and North America Daily Update, Fundamentals Annual. Here we are going to specify our data range as well as our company identifiers to use, some other searching variables, and also the variables to have in the final data set. Then we specify the output format and the compression type, etc. etc. Then we submit the query and download the resulting data sets eventually. But there is absolutely a better way to do it, and that's exactly what we are going to talk about today. Let's open up SAS and write these commands in your editor, which are basically to establish a connection with the WRDS server. Let's run the first three and you're going to have a prompt asking for your WRDS login information. Once you have entered your username and password, you'll be able to establish a connection with the WRDS server. Then, the server will automatically assign all the library references for you and make sure you have access to all the micros on the platform. You can then perform all the necessary data manipulation and analysis work on the server and even download the resulting data sets if necessary. After this, you'll be able to sign off and close the connection with the WDS server. To demonstrate how it works, here I'm making a small sample of the CompuStat Fundamentals Annual. Remember to enclose all the statements with rsubmit and end rsubmit because they are remotely executed. Now let's run this program and enter our username and password. We should be able to see that it will be executed remotely with the output logs in the log window and our downloaded dataset in the work folder. Pretty awesome. However, Entering username and password every time you run the code is pretty boring. So what you can do is to write your username here like this and ask for password every time you run the code. If you want to save some extra time, you can also encode your password in the program. But you should never use your plain text password and it doesn't work here. To do this, we're going to open up a new editor and type in PROC PW ENCODE, which stands for Password ENCODE, of course. And we're going to write your plain text password in the IN option. Here, let's say your password is 12345 up to 90. Run this, and you have your encoded password in the log window. Let's copy and paste your encoded password here inside the double quotation mark and you're good to go. Next time you run your code, you wouldn't be asked for your login information and the program will just execute smoothly. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.